Okay, here we have um, our last example, um, and this says we, we have a rational function. We're going to try and do different things with it. Now, first of all, it's asking us what is the domain of the function. And if you'll remember, when we talk about domain, we're trying to find those holes in uh, the domain by looking at the denominator. So we're going to take the denominator, x squared minus 4, and set that equal to 0 and solve. So that means x squared will equal 4 or x will equal plus or minus 2. These are our holes in the domain. So if I were going to write the domain out, I would say this is the set of all x's such that x cannot be a negative 2 and x cannot be a positive 2. Now it's asking, what is the equation of the vertical asymptote? Well, our holes in the domain are our potential vertical asymptotes, but we will not know until we look at this in fully reduced form. So if I look at my function in reduced form, we need to first of all make sure everything is factored nicely. So if I look at the numerator and try and factor that, that would go x and x. Let's see, 12 would probably break up into 4 times 3. And that would probably be a positive 4 and a negative 3, so we would have a positive 1. Now for our denominator, that's a difference of two squares, so that will factor into x plus 2, x minus 2. Now nothing in here will cancel, so this is our fully reduced form. Because this will not cancel any further, we could not remove any of those discontinuities. So actually, we have vertical asymptotes at both x equals negative 2 and also x equals positive 2. Now, the last question here except for graphing it, says what is the equation of the horizontal or oblique asymptote? Now for that we need to look at our function and decide what case it is. Remember that's, that we, we, that's determined by the powers of x. Because we have the same power of x in the numerator and the denominator, that tells us that we're going to have a horizontal asymptote at the ratio of the coefficients. So our coefficients here is 1 and 1, so that would be y equals 1 over 1, which is y equals 1. So that is our horizontal asymptote. Now the last thing we would have to do here would be to graph this. Some of it we can do by hand, some of it we may need to look at our calculator for. So looking at our graph here, I can go ahead and put in our, um, hor our vertical asymptotes. We know that happened at uh, y uh, x equals negative 2 and also over here at x equals 2. And we know we had a horizontal asymptote at y equals 1 which is right here. We just really need to know what's going on around here. So now would be a good time to go to our calculator and in our y equals we're going to type in our original function x squared plus x minus 12 divided by x squared minus 4. Now notice I put both the numerator and denominator in parentheses so that I could maintain that order of operations and I could do a zoom 6. Now at this point we can see what the graph is doing around those asymptotes and in order to get some nice points we can use our trace on our calculator and we can see oh look we have a point here of 0, 3 and then it's going looks like a quadratic sort of from there so we could plot that point on our graph. We might also come over here maybe to um, negative 1 or um, that would be the point, oh, that would be the point negative 1, 4. I'm sorry, what about over here at negative um, 3? Negative 3 would be at the point uh, negative 3, negative 1.2. What about at negative 4? We would have the point, oops, negative 4, 0. We can use this just to find some nice points to be able to draw in a much better picture on our paper.